Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we will learn how to do troubleshooting and debugging in Catalon Studio. So if you work on Catalon Studio and if you find any issues with your test, if there is some failure or you want to go to the root cause, so sometimes it is very straightforward and you know the issue, sometimes it is difficult to know the issue and uh, to know what is the root cause of the failure. In that case, you can do some troubleshooting and debugging and if you go to the documentation or Catalon website so if I search for Catalon Studio debugging here is a documentation so if I go here you can see here are some uh, ways you can do debug you can go to script and then uh, create breakpoints and run in debugging mode and I will also provide this link in the notes of this video so that you can refer it and to give you a very quick demo I will go to Catalon Studio and here uh, I'm using version 6.0.4 for this video and I will go to test cases folder right click and create a new test case and I will say this is test 1 and I'm going to very quickly record a test so I'm going to go to this website Orange HRM and I will record a login test and you can see the username and passwords are already given here so this is a demo application so I'm going to go to the main toolbar and hit record web and this should open the web recorder window and you can see it is here and I also have my application URL so I will start recording on a Chrome browser and I will add the username and the password and you can see all the steps getting recorded here and I will click on login button and here I will just go to this welcome admin link and click on log out and that's it I will stop the recording and I will say ok to add the objects and all the steps in the test case and it is added if I go to the script view here are all the scripts all the of the test case so I will try to run this I will run this with a Chrome browser and let us see what happens so it goes to the application logs in and it clicked on welcome admin but did not click on log out and there is a failure and you can see here we have the failure now uh, to start with you can directly go to the log viewer and when you go to the log viewer if you look at this button here which says tree view you can check this or uncheck this it will show you the logs in different views so I can see the step that failed is this one which is a click action on this object so if I go here I will get the entire message in the stack trace so here it is saying element not visible exception element not intractable so I can get some inputs from here directly that what is the reason for the failure and there is an entire stack trace you can just uh, look at the details if you want and then I can switch off the tree view and here are some filters so I can also filter this out and then wherever I want I can click and it will give me the uh, entire stack trace again from here so this will be the first step then if you go to the console tab here in console you will get all the detailed output and logs so this is what is the error unable to click on the object so you can get the object from here so just in case you want to see what exactly is the object in picture here so you can just see this is the object so you can go to your object repository page underscore orange orange hrm folder and this is the object and you can also see the issues and failure here so this is saying this click is not uh, happening because of because of a reason and you can get the entire stack trace here as well so this will be the first very first two steps to troubleshoot anything and then finally if you are finding it difficult to know the root cause and you look at your object repository and you find everything is okay from here as well then you can go to your test case go to the script view from here now here uh, wherever you are facing the issue on that step you can go and click and create a breakpoint so if you go to this margin this left margin if you click the here you will get a breakpoint created so you can see I have a breakpoint here I can 
keep on adding breakpoints wherever I want so here what will happen is uh, it will come to this uh, particular statement or the control will come here and stop until you give it the command to proceed to the next step so now after you have added the breakpoints you can go to the debug perspective from here so we have a keyword perspective which is the default perspective and then we have debug so you can go from here or you can directly go to this debug button and select the browser where you want to run in debug mode so I will say debug and say chrome and it will ask you to change perspective so here you can see it is asking me to change the perspective so I can just say yes and it will change it to a debug mode or debug perspective and in the debug perspective you will see your test case or test scripts here and then here you will see your console so you can see the messages on the console and here you will see the variables in case you have any variables in your test case you will see the variables and their value so after each step you can see what is the value of your variable so are they referenced properly or not so this will again be very handy and very helpful and now here you can see the control has come here and it has stopped because I had put a breakpoint here so it has run the first step which is open browser and you can see the browser is open here but it has still not navigated to the URL because that is the second step and it is uh, waiting for the user input here now you can see here we have uh, steps like step into and then step over using F6 and then step return and run to line so I can actually press F6 to go to the next step so let me just show you I will uh, keep this here and I will also open the browser so you can see the execution on the browser as well so now I will go to my Catalan studio and press F6 on my keyboard and you can see it has gone to the next step and it has navigated on the browser to the application I will again press F6 and it has clicked on the username and now it should enter the username I will again press F6 entered username entered password and then clicked on login and here it should have clicked on this welcome admin and now if I select this again say F6 again it has clicked on logout and it has actually uh, passed so if I if I can press now F8 to stop and come out and I will go back to the keyword perspective so let me just see I'll just go back to keyword perspective and everything is okay so that means what is happening here is uh, because I have checked the object properties are okay I have checked with debug perspective so one of the things that might happen is this particular object which is logout is not visible uh, by the time the script tries to access it so what I can do is I can actually add a step here and I can say verify element present and I will use the logout object and here I can give a timeout so I can say wait for maximum timeout 5 seconds now this means that it will wait maximum for 5 seconds until the object is visible but 5 seconds is not the hard wait it is just the maximum wait it will go to the next step as soon as the object is visible within 5 seconds and then click on it so I will save this and run this again and let us see the output this time so it goes to the application logs in and it should click on this so I think this is uh, again a browser issue because I recorded on Chrome and on Firefox it is not able to identify welcome admin so again this is something I can troubleshoot like this so let me for now use Chrome browser and let us see it should run fine on Chrome browser at least and yes and yes it is running fine and everything is okay and it is successful so these are some of the ways you can do troubleshooting and debugging in Catalan studio I hope this session was useful thank you for watching